So on the last part, you added the actors controller. On this part, we're going to add the producers controller. For that, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, you need to go to the Solution Explorer. And then in here, inside the controllers, I'll just right click in here, then go to Add. I'm going to add a new controller. And this is going to be the MVC controller dash empty template and then click add. I'll name this controller to be the producers controller because we are going to use this controller to work with the producer related data like create a producer, get a list of all producers, update a producer and even remove a producer from the database. And then click the add button. In here, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to inject the AppDB context to this constructor. So in here, just go to the actors. Then I'll just copy this part, control C. Then just go back to the producers and then paste it in here. Now the constructor needs to be the producers controller. And then just import the AppDB context. And the AppDB context belongs to the eTickets.data. Now, this is all you need to do in this part. If you want, you can also get all the producers. So var all producers is equal to, and this is going to be the context dot producers dot to list. Now, this is the synchronous way of getting data from the database, but if you want, you can also use async methods. So in here, the first thing that you need to change will be the public will be changed to public async. And then instead of returning the I action result, you are going to return the task I action result and then index. And then to get the data from the database, we are going to use the await keyword. So var all producers is equal to await. So we have async await. And that is going to be context.producers. To list async. And let us import the namespace for the to list async. And that belongs to the Microsoft.entity framework core. 